the Andaz Deli is a new concept from Hyatt Hotels, with an emphasis on local products and cuisine. With modern rooms that feel homely, the question is, did they get the design, feel and concept right? And should this be adopted worldwide? The Andaz Delhi can be found just east of the airport, taking 10 minutes by taxi. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can also catch the Airport Express line, and then walk north from Delhi Aero City to the hotel. This was a wonderful stay after arriving last night at 1 in the morning, off Lufthansa's beautiful Boeing 747. And having done my research, this looked like a luxurious hotel that would be the perfect place to work off the jet lag and have some me time. The Andaz takes itself very seriously to deliver a five-star experience, but at the same time comes across as very down-to-earth and not at all snobby. Even when you check in, it's done at trendy desks, which feel very welcoming. The Andaz feels right on the same level as the ITC, which is part of the Marriott Group, and we visited here on our last night in Hyderabad, but somehow I feel more at home in the Andaz. It's not that I didn't love the experience, but it's clear the vibe here is more relaxed. It makes you feel worthy to stay here and not as though you might have got lucky winning the lottery. When selecting a room, I would have gone for the base room. They're all lovely and pretty reasonably priced. But there was an option for a room overlooking the runway. And as usual, the full details for the room and the price you paid can all be found in the description below. I had hoped for a decent floor, but 6 out of 6 is perfect. Once we visit the room, charge my phone and had a tour, we'll go visit the pool. Let's just hope I get a good view of the planes. Oh god, that can't be good. Never mind, I'm sure I'll be fine. If you don't see more reviews, you know why. To kick things off, we're going straight into the bathroom, because I know you're eager to see the view, and that's the best part. What a beautiful bathroom, and it's a pretty good use of space. Yes, it has all the essentials, a sink which is white marble, tasty, branded soaps which are wolfberry in scent, I've never heard of it, but it sounds so good I may just eat them, decorative cups for your toothbrush, but what is slightly odd is that you have a shower and a toilet. Hang on, I'm, I'm getting there. But they're divided by one single moving glass door, meaning that one will always be exposed while the other is not. If you've ever stayed at Novotel, you'll understand why the vibe is similar. They must have the same supply of tiles. And gimmicky, but it adds a little class, is this simple but nice wooden seat so you can sit in the shower. And I really did like the scented shampoo, conditioner and body wash. In fact, having not finished them, I took them to the next hotel. There are lots of nice details in the bathroom, like this textured wall, the alternative dressing gown, and this easy to care for plant that I have one of back home. Opposite the bathroom is a large cupboard to store all your clothes, with complimentary slippers, hangers, a torch and dressing gowns. And then it's into the bedroom. Besides the comfortable king size bed, my eyes are drawn to this pretty blue ottoman at the end. The room has everything you could possibly want. There are lots of niceties to be found, including this decorative blue um, porcelain item, and 401 reasons to fall in love with Delhi. Opposite the bed, just below the 48 inch television, are these vibrant pink bottles, which come with recycled water. I love the lack of plastic. Next to what is a huge selection of tea, are these very homemade looking tea mugs. They remind me of the ones I made when I was back in school at 8 years old. 
Even the information pack is very lavish and comes in this red binded book. And if you're missing people at home, there's even a few postcards. This is a must for any modern five star hotel, automatic blind. It just adds that wow factor and the view is pretty incredible as well. This very long beige sofa is a comfortable way to enjoy the view. It's just a shame there's a protective layer in the window, which helps with the cooling of the room, but also means that the view of your planes will be slightly distorted, and that's a shame. I will just mention that India is one of the most challenging countries for plug sockets, as it has a very unique shape. So I was pleased to see universal plug sockets. Ah, <sighs> what a relief, having not brought an adapter. The hotel has a lot of guests staying for business, so it wasn't uncommon to see people in white shirts dressed smartly hosting small meetings around the pool area. Luckily it's more than big enough, and the guests who wanted to enjoy the pool weren't bothered too much by the corporate jargon. There is a small bar hut on the end, should you feel peckish or thirsty after a swim. It won't be a surprise that the hotel has a gym, Unfortunately when I visited it was pretty busy and not wanting to disturb others or their privacy I didn't manage to get any footage. I know we go out for food but obviously because I'm at the airport and area city is not the most developed of areas so there's not a huge amount of choice around so I'm going to go try out the hotel's food. You could start the evening with a drink and head over to Juniper which is a very atmospheric and triangular shaped bar just next to the reception. Having worked up an appetite, I don't have to venture far to find food. Open all day long is the Anna Meyer Food Hall, which is just beyond Juniper, and serves as a restaurant in the evening and also for breakfast in the morning. The menu is very extensive, and being an international chain has both local delights and more western options. As for the people working here, they're so friendly and chilled, which I love. The meal starts off with pomodoms with sesame seeds, which makes a great change from bread, and on the side, a spicy green dip. Now Delhi is famous for butter chicken, which according to Wiki, don't quote me, originates in the very city. It's also one of my favourites, and as recommended by the very friendly waiter, I've opted for the butter naan. I'm not just saying this, because I'm no way sponsored, but this was one of my all-time favourite meals. And if you fancy something different or just a change of scenery, you can also make the 10 minute walk over to Aero City Mall, which has everything from burger outlets to high-end restaurants. It's also very pretty at night. Try to avoid being like me, and on this trip going down to breakfast close to 10am was not a good idea. There was a queue of about 15 people waiting for a table, and it wasn't clear who was waiting and who was not. Being on my own, it wasn't hard, and I was seated within a few minutes. There was ample selection, and I loved, although I'm sure the staff don't, that you can see the food being prepared, which adds a bit of drama. You can order items to be made, which are then sent to your table. But having overheard someone who was annoyed and they'd been waiting for a long time, I decided not to try. Breakfast just feels chaotic, and being half asleep, it took a fair amount of brain power queuing to get to different areas or trying to navigate the crowds. I'm not exactly sure what they could do to change the system, but this clearly doesn't work. Breakfast was included in the room rate, so I can't tell you how much it would be separately, but you would be lucky if it was under £20. The danger I always find is that you can eat as much as you want, and sometimes you just can't be bothered to go in search of food for lunch. Luckily, there's a gym on site. So I'm just having a walk off that humongous meal. The breakfast was really, really good. It's just if you're gonna go at the later times, like 9.30 onwards, just expect at least a 10 minute wait. And never forget how fortunate I am to stay at so many wonderful hotels and try so many different airlines and I really did enjoy my stay at the Andes Delhi Aero City. It's calming, relaxing, 
and the employees are so polite and down to earth. So I can absolutely recommend staying here. During my trip, I'll be staying at some amazing properties. So here's a quick preview. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching to the end and supporting us. You only my mind.